Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's recipe. So today for you, I made this super easy and delicious and fast crock pot pasta casserole. So if you'd like to see how to make it and like how much it costs and everything like that, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget food. So it can be recipes, taste tests, little shopping hauls. It really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure you do subscribe. Hit that notification bell, bookmark the page, that way you can come back and watch whenever you would like to. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you're going to need for this um, crock pot pasta casserole is you're going to need um, a pound of ground meat. So I did use ground hamburger, a half a pound of another meat of your choice. I did um, hot Italian sausage. I also added a whole yellow onion to this. You're going to need a jar of pasta sauce, a can of diced or crushed tomatoes, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, um, eight ounces of pasta, which is um, about half a box, and about three quarters cup of water. Okay, so I already have my crock pot on low, and I've also lined it and slightly oiled it. So somebody asked one time, um, why did you put a plastic bag in your crock pot? So this is actually a crock pot liner in here and it just makes for easier cleanup and everything like that. You don't have to use it, but I prefer to. Okay, so like I said, my meat's already cooked and everything. I didn't really feel like I needed to uh, show that on camera. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add my whole jar of pasta sauce. I'm also going to be adding my water. I'm just going to go ahead and just add it to my jar so that way I can get every little piece out. Just give it a good shake. I'm going to be doing a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Next, I'm going to open up my can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I also forgot. You're also going to need two cups of cheese. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to be using um, this Italian style blend. But you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get my meat and sauce all mixed together. So what's nice about this recipe is you can totally make it vegetarian or vegan. You could do onion like I did, you could do bell pepper, zucchini, whatever you want to do. Like that would be so, so good. Okay. So the reason why it's so saucy and like kind of really wet is because you add the noodles dry. So once again, I'm just gonna go in and get this all mixed. Okay, so here is my crock pot with the liner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add half of my sauce just to the bottom. I'm just using a ladle now. Half my sauce. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to be adding this half box of pasta just right on top. I'm just going to top the noodles, the dry noodles, with the rest of the sauce. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to open up my cheese. And I'm just going to... I'm going to add half of this right now. I'm going to add about a cup of this right now. And then I'll top the other half. I'll use the other half when it's done. lid on and we're going to let this cook on low for four hours. Okay so it's been about three hours and I'm just going to go ahead and grab a fork and kind of stick it down here. Ooh, That looks good. I think we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on warm and then I'm going to start dishing up. Oh my gosh it's so cheesy looks amazing okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it's still very very um, saucy oh my gosh this cheese is killing me okay it looks really really good I feel like I need scissors to cut this cheese. Ugh. It smells amazing. Okay. Okay, so here is the finished crock pot pasta casserole. I just tried some off camera. It is absolutely amazing. I think you would absolutely love it. I am serving it with a side of um, garlic bread, but super easy and it's actually super, super delicious. I was kind of worried about the noodles becoming like too soft or soggy. They're not. I wouldn't do four hours. I'd personally do three hours, but that's just me. But anyway. Hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. What is your favorite type of crock pot main dish? I would love to know down below in the comments. Don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a budget glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start on a plane here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones I'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, see you here in just a sec.